Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about division of polynomials. So to divide polynomials with a monomial divisor, we are going to follow three simple steps. But before that, when we say monomial divisor, ibig sabihin, yung i-divide natin is just one term. Okay? Isang term lang ang divisor. Right? So with that, um, step one, we have to write the expression as a fraction. Again, we have to write the expression as a fraction. And then, yung step 2, we have to divide each term of the numerator by the monomial denominator. And step 3, simplify using the laws of exponents. Let's have an example. Divide 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 10x by 2x. So, notice here we have a monomial divisor. Isang term lang siya na i-divide natin itong polynomial na ito with just one term. Okay? So, monomial divisor. With that, yung step 1 natin, we have to write the expression as a fraction. Okay? Gawin natin itong fraction. And that is 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 10x over 2x. So, fraction form na siya. Alright? Step 2, we have to divide each term. Divide each term of the numerator by the monomial denominator. Okay, paano yan? So, this is equal to 2x cubed over 2x minus 6x squared over 2x minus 10x over 2x. Ano ba ito? So, isa-isa yung mga terms ng numerator, dinivide natin sa denominator. So, isa-isa sila, no? That's 2x cubed divided by 2x. Okay? Yung minus dito galing dito sa negative 6x squared. Yung sa negative. Okay? So, that's 6x squared over 2x. Again, yung minus dito galing dito sa negative 10x. So, kung positive yan, magiging plus ito. Alright? Um, 10x over 2x. So, after that, we need to simplify using the loss of exponent. So, apply na natin yung loss of exponent. So, no? So, that is equal to, we have here 2 divided by 2, of course, that's 1. Okay? So, or cancel out na yan, ano? So, wala na siya dito. Diba? So, that's just 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, 1 times x cubed. Oh, that's just x cubed, diba? So, common yung, uh, common ang base natin na x. So, that's x. And then, 3 minus 1. Remember, loss of exponents for division, magma-minus tayo ng ng exponents, okay? Um, only for those with common bases. So, ang common base natin dito is x. So, that's x raised to 3 minus 1. Bakit 1? Kasi, di ba, itong x dito, considered yan na may 1 na exponent, di ba? So, that's 3 minus 1. Then, negative, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay? So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Right? Kaya we have here 3. And then common base natin si x dito. So, we have 2 minus 1. Again, si 1, dito yan galing. Oh. But kapag ka ang variable walang exponent, ibig sabihin ang exponent niya ay 1. So, nag-iisang si x. So, 2 minus 1. And then we have 10 uh, minus yan. So, minus. So, 10 divided by 2. So, magiging 5. Kaya here we have 5. X divided by X. So, wala na rin na, no? So, it's just X raised to 1 minus 1. So, 1 minus 1, that's 0. Okay. So, that's 0. So, we have here 5. So, 5 na lang ang naiwan. So, simplifying that, we have 3 minus 1 is 2. Diba? 3 minus 1 is 2. So, we have X squared. Minus 3x. Bakit x na lang? Kasi 2 minus 1 is 1. So, hindi na natin ilalagay yung 1 dito, ha? That's considered as 1, yung exponent. Kapag ang variable walang exponent, it's considered 1. Okay? Kapag 1 naman ang exponent ng output, hindi na nilalagay yan sa final answer. Okay? So, minus 5. So, our answer is x squared minus 3x minus 5. Right, to divide polynomials with a binomial divisor, eto na binomial divisor, ibig sabihin, yung i-divide natin, yung divisor natin, dalawang terms. Okay. We are going to use the long division. 
ay gagamit tayo ng long division. Yung long division naman, no, pareho lang siya nung sa, uh, when we do division in arithmetic, ano, um, yung sa mga whole numbers. Okay? So, we are going to follow these four steps. Ano-ano ano, ano mga ito? So, first, we have to divide the first term, only the first term of the dividend, by the first term of the divisor. Tandaan yan. Again, we have to divide the first term of the dividend by the, by the first term of the divisor to obtain the first term of the quotient. In step 2, we are going to multiply. So, the same process lang siya ng um, long division ng whole numbers. Okay. So, first we divide, then we multiply. Uh, we divide, then we multiply, and then we subtract. And after that, we just have to repeat the steps. Okay. So, let's have an example. Divide 6x squared plus x minus 12 by 2x plus 3. So, notice here we have a binomial divisor. Dalawang terms yung divisor natin. Okay, so, in this case, we are going to use long division method. So, step 1 natin, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to obtain the first term of the quotient. So, sulat muna natin siya na for long division. Um, it looks like this one. So, that's 6x squared plus x minus 12 divided by 2x plus 3. So, yung step 1, divide only the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, ibig sabihin yung 6x squared, i-divide natin sa 2x. Okay? And we will get the first term of the quotient. So, yung first term ng quotient, dito natin siya ilalagay sa taas. Right? So, scratch paper muna tayo. Let's say this is our scratch paper. So, scratch paper natin yan. So, we have 6x squared divided by 2x. Okay. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3, di ba? And we have a common base x. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, that's 3x. Raised to 1, hindi na ilalagay. So, 3x ang sagot, ano? 3x. So, si 3x, ilalagay natin siya sa taas. In such a way na um, naka-align siya dun sa kapareho niya ng exponent. Ano? So, we have here, hindi natin siya ilalagay dito kasi square ito eh. Square, yan. So, this one, yung x kapareho niya. So, dito na ilalagay si 3x. Ayan. Okay. So, yung uh, sa long division nyo, dapat naka-align lahat yung kapareho ng exponent, ano? Kapareho, long, yung like terms, okay? Naka-like terms, yung naka-align sila. Okay. Kapag may ibang terms pa na nakalagay dito, um, ibig sabihin, yung naka-align dito, dapat yung may x squared. Yung naka-align dito, yung may x. Naka-align dito, yung walang variables, yung constants lang. Okay? So, dapat, again, naka-align. Alright? And so, step 2, we have to multiply the divisor. Ito, the whole divisor. We have to multiply that by the answer that we got in step 1. Okay. Only the answer that we got in step 1. So, multiplication. So, that's 3x times 2x plus 3. So, scratch paper ulit. That's 3x times 2x plus 3. Okay, distributive property yan, ano? So, 3x times 2x, that is 3 times 2, that's 6x times x, so that's x, 1 plus 1, that's 2, okay? And then, 3x times 3 plus 3 times 3, that's 9, and then we have x. So, this is our answer. So, ilalagay natin dito siya sa baba. Again, yung mga like terms naka-align. So, 6x squared, dito siya 6x squared. And then, plus 9x. Ayan. So, naka-align sila, no? And then, we have to subtract. That's our next step. Subtract tayo. Subtract the result in step 2 from the corresponding terms of the dividend. And then, bring down the next term. O, mamaya natin bring down, magsa-subtract muna tayo. So, when we subtract, Take note that when we subtract, we need to change the signs of the subtrahend. Okay? Mag-change tayo ng sign. So, we have, um, eto magiging um, 
Since this is positive, magiging negative yan. So, di ba positive yan? Wala, kapag ka walang sign, ibig sabihin positive ha? So, mag-change tayo ng negative. And then, yung positive, mag-change tayo ng negative. Bakit ako naglagay ng parenthesis? Um, to let me know, no? to, let, to let myself know na nag-change na ako ng sign. Okay, para hindi ako ma-confuse later. So, we have 6x squared minus 6x squared. Of course, that's 0, di ba? So, hindi na natin ilalagay dito yung 0. Automatic na yan, ano? Wala na. So, dito na tayo. Positive x minus 9x. So, we have positive, negative, magma-minus tayo. And uh, the larger number is uh, 9x, yan. So, 9. Negative ang sagot. So, negative... And so, 9 minus 1, ito, 1 lang, tal 1 ito, di ba? So, 9 minus 1 is 8. So, we have negative 8x. And then, we bring down the next term of the dividend. So, we bring down the next term of the dividend, that's minus 12. Okay? And then, we repeat steps 1, 2, 3 until the remainder is 0. Okay. When do we stop? Until the remainder is zero. Or until there is no remaining terms. Until there is no remaining terms to be brought down from the dividend. Okay? So, we have negative 8x minus 12. Repeat lang natin yung steps 1 to 3. Step 1, divide the first term ulit. So, again, when we divide, first terms lang ang i-divide natin. So, dito, ang i-divide natin si negative 8x lang. I-divide natin siya sa first term ng divisor, that's 2x. Mag-scratch paper ulit tayo. So, that is negative 8x divided by 2x. Ayan. So, negative ayun. Uh, negative, positive. So, ang answer is negative. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. And then, x, 1 minus 1, that's 0. So, our answer is negative 4. Again, ilalagay natin siya sa taas, naka-align dun sa kalike terms niya. So, that's negative 4. Next, we multiply. Again, when we multiply, just the answer obtained in step 1. Anong answer na na-obtain natin sa step 1? Yung negative 4 lang. Hindi kasali si 3x. Okay? So, meaning yan, si negative 4 ang i-multiply natin sa lahat ng device or 2x plus 3. So, that's 2x plus 3. Distributive property. And so, that is negative 4 times 2, that's 8x. Negative 4 times positive 3, that's negative 12. So, ilalagay natin siya dito sa baba. Negative 8x minus 12. And so, again, we subtract. When we subtract, we need to change the signs of the subtrahend. Ano? So, itong negative magiging positive. Itong negative magiging positive. Okay, tandaan lang, ano, uh, tandaan lang kapag pareho sila talaga no, ng numbers at saka ng variables and uh, opposite ng signs, the answer is 0. Ha? So, we have negative 8x plus 8x, that's 0. Negative 12 plus 12, that's also 0. So, meaning our answer is 0. So, we are going to stop here kasi andito na tayo, the remainder is Zero. O yung natira, zero na. So, meaning, eto na yung sagot natin. Okay? So, we have 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4. 